The Weinstock Festival returns to Los Olivos this weekend. News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez joins us live with a look at what wine lovers can expect. Yes, hello, Scott. I'm live here at Fez Parker Winery in Los Olivos, and this beautiful uh, green field right behind me will be full of people on Sunday enjoying live music, food, and of course, wine. <laughs> Fest Parker Winery presents Wine Stock, a concert series this summer with live music for all wine lovers. We have 714 acres here and our wines are amazing. So we are top 100 wineries of the world. Winery sommelier Dana Sachs says the late Fest Parker wanted to create a welcoming environment for people to enjoy his wine. Everybody who walks in the door is just, you know, treated like family because we want everybody to have a really enjoyable experience. This best was all about hospitality, and so that's kind of our cornerstone. Director of Hospitality, Sado Mosti, says the new generation of Parkers had a vision of wine stock for people to enjoy music, food, and wine. The new generation is coming in, uh, helping in all different aspects, uh, from the marketing to the international wholesale, the, the inn in Los Olivos, the horseback riding. Uh, so it's a, a big wall run family business. Bring your lawn chairs and picnic blankets. The concert is a family and pet friendly event. You can come out, buy a bottle of wine, you can get a glass of wine, just enjoy the day. The band is uh, going to be playing at night, so it's going to be warm out here and sunny and it's going to be beautiful. But yeah, so you can just relax and enjoy with the whole family. There will be a variety of food trucks available from pizza to dessert. Uh, we have food trucks and so um, you know you'll be able to purchase food. You can bring your own food too. So if you have a picnic or something that you'd like, um, you know, feel free. Tickets are only $20 and if you are a club member, they're only $15 for this Sunday. Live in Los Olivos, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez. Scott, back to you.